So what does it mean when mid-campaign two major party leaders make reversals like that? Our chief political correspondent, Rosemary Barton, has been watching this closely. Rosie, tell us what you make of today's developments. Yeah, Aja, in both of these instances, the leaders had to change their tune on two issues that really speak to leadership and character. For the Liberal leader, a recognition from him days after CBC's own reporting on this issue that Raj Saini couldn't be a candidate anymore given the nature of the allegations against him. This is a problem for Justin Trudeau given he said there's zero tolerance for this kind of behavior, and yet that seems to not be the case. And suggesting it's a failure of the process here, as Mr. Trudeau did, is probably not a good enough answer. For the Conservative leader, Aaron O'Toole, he's managed to contradict his platform and what he has previously said in leadership campaigns and he now risks upsetting some gun owners which are traditionally part of the conservative voting base and while he's seeking to reassure progressive voters he's not going to repeal this ban while doing a review he's unwilling to say how long that might take and importantly whether the outcome will result in anything other than a repeal so this has let the Liberals go on the attack there, as you saw from Travis, yet again. And in an attempt to clarify his position today, Mr. O'Toole has left himself vulnerable to the criticism from his opponents that he says one thing to one group of Canadians and something else to another. And, you know, we're, we're heading there. Election Day, just yeah. two weeks from Monday. What is in store for this week? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of incredible that it's just a couple weeks away. And this is a big week for all the campaigns. You know, after Labor Day, back to school. This is when Canadians traditionally re-engage in a big way. So we would expect that to happen. It's also debate week. There's another French debate. The only English debate is this Thursday. And it's a moment for leaders to really show their differences and contrast in ideas. It's also very telling about personalities, how they interact with one another. We saw a lot of attacks on Aaron O'Toole in the first French debate. We saw Justin Trudeau really on the offensive. And because the race seems so close right now, Asha, in so many parts of the country, there is a lot riding on these debates for whoever wants to form government. Rosie, good to see you. Always great to get your analysis. Thanks. Thanks, Asha.